This is part 83 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to catch deadlock errors using try catch in SQL Server. At the moment, we've got two stored procedures, SP transaction 1 and SP transaction 2. Both of these stored procedures are trying to update two tables, table A and table B. This stored procedure, SP transaction 1, it's updating table A first and then table B. Whereas this stored procedure, SP transaction 2, is doing the update in the reverse order. It's updating table B first and then table A. Between both the update statements, we have a delay of 5 seconds in both the stored procedures. So if we execute both of these stored procedures simultaneously, then we are guaranteed to get a deadlock. Let's look at that in action. First, let's execute our first stored procedure and then simultaneously the second stored procedure. In a few seconds we should have a deadlock. One of the transactions will be made the deadlock victim and it will you know, display that 1205 error whereas the other transaction should complete successfully. So in this instance this is the transaction that's made the deadlock victim and we get that 1205 error. That's the default behavior. Just like any other SQL Server error, deadlock errors can also be handled using try catch. And let's see how to do that. So I'm going to wrap these update statements inside begin try and end try block. So let's include begin try and then end try. Let's have the corresponding begin catch and and catch. Let's format this code a bit. Now, if both the update statements succeed, then that means we don't have a problem, so we want to commit the transaction. And let's display a meaningful message to the user. Let's simply say transaction successful. Now, on the other hand, if there is a problem executing these update statements, you know, the control will immediately go to the catch block. And in the catch block, I'm going to check the error number. So let's use the SQL Server error number function. So if error number equal to 1205, then that means we have the deadlock error. So what do we want to do? If it's a deadlock error, we want to display a different message to the user. So I'm going to say select deadlock transaction failed and let's say please retry. So the user could retry his transaction. And then we also want to roll back. So if at all if there is any problem, we want to roll back that transaction. We don't want, you know, um, this code to be executed in half. So let's include that rollback right here. Now let's do the same change for our transaction 2 as well. In the interest of time I have already typed the code so I'm going to copy this from the notepad and paste it right here. And the change is very similar to what we have for stored procedure 1. So we have the first update statement and the second update statement, if both of these sta update statements succeed, commit the transaction and display this message to the user. If at all, if there is any problem executing this code, then the control will go to the catch block. In the catch block, we are checking the error number. If it's 1205, then we know that it's a deadlock error. In that case, this is the message that we want to display to the user and then roll the transaction back. So let's alter both of these stored procedures. and then let's execute them simultaneously. First stored procedure 1 and simultaneously stored procedure 2. So again we should have one of the transactions as the deadlock victim and now it should display the error message that we have specified. So in this case this transaction is successful and look at that it says transaction successful whatever message we have specified here whereas this transaction is made the, the deadlock victim so the control went into the catch block it checked the error number 1205 so it printed this message deadlock transaction failed please retry and then it rolled the transaction back. In our next video, we will discuss how to handle these deadlock errors in any .NET application that uses ADO.NET. Thank you for listening and have a great day.